Hello Psychos! We are impromptu running off to Bristol today and I just had to show you my sock. This is my sock. And this is the foot of the sock. It is minuscule. Anyway, got a dash, got to grab some things, sort some stuff and then jump on the train. And I'm up here. T talk to my face. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna do that. We will see you in a bit. Hi! We are at Stafford. Yeah. yeah. Stafford. <laughs> um, <laughs> waiting for our connecting train to Bristol. So yeah, I have no idea where Stafford is. Really should look that up. <laughs> um, yeah. Somewhere and between where we are from Bristol. <laughs> it is... Our train's in two minutes. No. 10, 12, minutes. 12 minutes. Um, and then we should get into Bristol about just before three. And I'm hungry now. I've still got snacks in the Yeah. Bag. We brought snacks. I had banana. We should snack them all. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. I want to see everything. I did not expect is it's really warm down here. <laughs> Apparently that's the south for you. See you in a bit. Getting bits of lovely view. <laughs> like um <laughs> This is very amusing. Why, why didn't you send a carrier pigeon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, the, they, these are uncracked, you know. I said that you could keep them. <laughs> They haven't got enough connectors to make... They might have fallen out. <laughs> I don't even know if they do connectors for them all. So you can just sit there going... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 I know you probably don't want one today, but do you want a snuggle blanket? A snuggle blanket? snuggle wrap? A snuggle... And uh, some fleecy gloves. Um, 
We do have a lot of blankets. John said I'm not allowed any more blankets for a while. <laughs> <laughs> How many hats have you got on? Three hats and a bandana. Because <laughs> there's no That's more the room in the car. <laughs> the little hat. I'm about that shot. Oh. <laughs> We've got funky pasta. Red pasta with paprika, beetroot. They're just like colored with different fruits and veggies and stuff. They've got different flavor macaroni type things over there. That, like... That. Like fit. Big chunks of it. Actually, no, not the brunch one. It's got still in it, but I found a spill for still in What about scrumpy scotch egg? It would be a uh, black watch yeah. scotch egg. Yeah. Chief done black watch. Black watch has the black one. Maybe he just said it just to move away from the macaroons before he starts stroking. How do you know? What? How do you know what flavour they are? Oh, chocolate cherry one. Oh. I can't tell what the colour I know the end of the pistachio. Do you want one or? <laughs> I don't know 
Het is even zo. home now uh yes adventurous day bit odd today was meant to be like just chilling out dyeing my hair and not much really we got a phone call this morning asked if we could go to bristol john's sister needed help to get some things finalized before she moves back up here so get out of bed get dressed throw food at the cat <laughs> <laughs> Go and jump on the train. N uh, ugh, the train. Um, went to get tickets. Ticket office had a sign in the window that they weren't selling tickets to buy tickets at the destination, which would have been fine if there wasn't a woman sat behind the sign. So I said, take a photo, photo because if we get to the destination, they're like, oh, you're just pulling a fast one. We had no proof. So we went to take a photo, and the woman goes, you can't take that. I'm like, why not? And she's like, because there's money on the counter. I'm like, there's a whole office behind you. And you're already not serving anyone, so why are you sitting here? People. So then we get the train. Because she made us miss the train. And then we got the next train. And then we went to Liverpool Lime Street. We were waiting out just, and there was this queue. Oh my god, the queue. The queue was all the way down the platform, all the way to the front of the station, all the way out the doors. Ridiculous queue for one train. Luckily it had like 11 carriages. So, we're watching this queue forming. I'm going, it's our train. John's like, nah, it's not our train, it's so early. Like, 
Are you sure that's not a train? He went and checked it was our train. But what everybody who queued for half a mile didn't know was just two queues and no one was queuing in the second line so <laughs> we slipped right into the second line. Then we ended up getting told that the seats re were reserved by someone and we're like, they don't say reserved. I don't know, we got booted out our seats and then we changed trains booted someone out of their, at, at their seat because we'd reserved them seats <laughs> because you know just people are gonna do it to us we're gonna do it to them I'm gonna sit in my window seat um then i had an impromptu nap i don't like to fall asleep when i'm going somewhere because i like to watch everywhere and be like ooh, new stuff blah, blah, blah. no none of that no we went to bristol got everything sorted so she is officially moved out, which is awesome. Um, no more faffing about with landlords and whatnot. Did a tip run, the tiniest tip in the world. Had a cup of tea, had a conversation about how when we had a cup of tea we should get pigs because the pigs could eat the fallen apples and then maybe you could make scrumpy roast pork afterwards. Um, and then Jen's just brought me a cup of tea. And then we head off and it's taken us a good few hours to get home but we did stop off at a farm shop on the way. <laughs> so yeah, we got farm shop stuff and there was funky pasta and there was macaroons and it was also beautiful. Um, oh yeah, what was I going to say about bloody train? got on the train I'm like this is the first time I've been on a virgin train oh yeah great experience a door shut and smacked me in the face the, the slidey doors not even a slam door slidey door slid and smacked me in the side of the face as I was walking through it because apparently it doesn't have any sensors to make sure that the doorway is clear before it tries to shut and it just smashed me right in the face and it hurt so bad and just had the fight with the store trying to get it to get off me because it wouldn't stop trying to shut so yeah that really sucked and then we got kicked out of our seats boo so yeah i blame richard branson it's his fault his stupid bossy door trains and then we get to see some countryside and bristol's really warm it was weird it was like because I've been down south before, I haven't been to Bristol before, but I've been down south before, but it's always been in a car or on a bike or something like that. And it hasn't been in an enclosed environment. So it's kind of like when you got off the plane at your holiday destination, you walk out and it's all hot. It was like that. And then I realised that the hot wasn't going away, so it wasn't the train or anything. So yeah, weirdly hot in summer and up here is like you can see autumn already and it's getting a bit chilly and stuff so that was bizarre anyhow I am I'm gonna get some don't know what it does taste like but I got some um light light Night, what are you doing? There you go. Why are you set to off? I think the camera's going a bit bandy. Don't know if this is filming even. So yeah, uh, I'm going to edit some, have a cup of tea, chill out, reset my bones, and I will see you all tomorrow. Because I'll probably be dying my hair then. Yay. Two bars of Barry, my bum hole. <laughs> Yeah, the battery's just died. Don't know if that bit recorded, because the last time it did that, it didn't record a bit, which I'm really miffed at, because it was the Japan day, and I was showing you what I bought. So I've been waffling for, like, a couple of minutes, for no reason. Anywho, ignore the jab of the hurt look. I'm lying back, because I'm relaxing. Because um, that's what I do best. Not really. Um, <laughs> yes. So I will see you in the next video and I will leave it here and say bye.